Alrighty guys, welcome back to Mud Runner for our part two of the short run Mud Runner series in the American Wilds. Alrighty guys, so uh, what we got going on is uh, got a little guy out in the, his old Chevy. We're gonna to have to go save him with a Ford. Imagine that. So uh, we're trying to get back to base up here and grab some supplies before we head out there. Luckily, his radio's still working. I'll get my all-wheel drive through here, so it's getting pretty torn up through this section. But we need to get to him, hopefully before dark. But uh, that might not happen. But anyways, we're heading back to the base. We're gonna grab ourselves supplies, get this truck fine-tuned, hopefully filled up with a little bit of gas before we're done with it. And uh, we're going to go save ourselves a, a poor unfortunate Chevy driver. Alright, we got supplies and a trailer ready to go. Let's head on out. So apparently, the Ding Dong was trying to climb a hill and he ended up hitting a giant rock which smashed his radiator and his drive belt. Or his drive fan, I'm not sure which one it is. Something that trucks broke. So now we gotta go and rescue the Ding Dong. So that he can keep on working. But uh, that's a typical Chevy driver there for you, isn't it? Because we're in a... Ford F-150 with the all-wheel drive enabled. Never break down, of course, and have to go rescue a Chevy. Of course we have to do that. So anyways, I'm gonna hit the road, Jack, and uh, hopefully bring a Chevy back home. We'll see you when we get there. Alright, so... It's night time, folks, and uh, we made it to his last known location, basically. So he's somewhere around here's ways. Should be right up this hill, if memory serves me rightly. Well, let's go driving off. See where you can find him. We're not going to hit full throttle, mind you, as the... I guess that's what he was doing, and he smashed it into a rock, and it looks like we're going to be stuck on the hill. So we're going to need a little bit more power. Oh, we are stuck in a mud pit right there. And I have visual of said vehicle right yonder. Well now. Looks like the old Ford has to shave the Chevy once again. Alrighty now, you take care and try not to hit any more rocks, you dingus. Alrighty, now I've got to get myself off of this mountain and back down to the road. And hopefully he's going to continue his work, and I just hit a tree and rolled my engine. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have come into work today. Well, Chevy, what are you going to do over there? Sit there? Help me! Come on! Well, guys, uh, the Ford saved us. And uh, then he went around this tree and ended up uh, spinning himself. So now we have to rescue him. I'm 
going to go ahead and get up here for a second. I'm going to need the high ground on this one. I'm going to go ahead and grab our navigational point there. So I just hit his truck. Sorry about that, dude. So now we have to help this guy out in the middle of the night. So uh, let's uh, grab this guy's winch here. Send ourselves down the mountain. I think we're going to release here. And no. We're good. Oh dear. <laughs> As I said, I shouldn't have come in to work this morning. There I was. I'd been high centered on the back bed of a Chevy pickup, and the Chevy pickup had then gone off and driven away. That's fine, of course. Problem was, now he was stuck somewhere at the bottom of the hill, more broken than he was before. I couldn't get myself out of the trees to save an anemone. Of course, I could see him down in the trees. I was putting more damage into my truck every time I hit a tree in the night. There was no way to get around these things. You got so much momentum going that you just constantly hit them. Then I finally stumbled upon the blessed dirt road that the Lord had put there from the beginning of his creation. And now I had a problem. I didn't have any supplies. Well, maybe a few. Also, I had a weird strappity red thing follow me around for some reason. No idea what that, was, what that was about. So now I need to be able to back up and give those few precious supplies. And of course, I ended up giving them to myself. Brilliant, am I right? So now being out of the supplies, I would have to mosey my way all the way back to the shop in the night be able to then bring back more supplies for the truck I just saved. This was not my day. So through the middle of the night, I drove all the way back to HQ. The roads kept getting worse, in my opinion. The more mud we had, the more ruts we ended up with, and the less firm ground we seemed to have. It was a strange thing. Also, the fact that the county couldn't afford some, at least some gravel to put in some of these crevices to be able to help firm things up. But that's beer cracks for you. And so there I was, once again, having to make the long trek through the American wilds back to get a Chevy. It was almost morning, too. I hadn't had my coffee. Sure glad I brought along a small ham sandwich to be able to tide me over. But still, some warm eggs and cheese were sounding really nice right about now. Of course, the roads kept getting worse, causing me to veer off as the muds decided to grab one tire rather than the other. So now, with all of my repair supplies and the sun finally deciding to show up at during this entire ordeal, and also realizing that I was going to have to do some major repair work on my beautiful Ford F-150 once I got back home, after all the rolls and whatnot, I decided that I wasn't going to do late time rescue operations anymore, and was going to leave that to the professionals. Then I remembered, I was the professional. So, uh, that wouldn't fly. 
And so after the long rescue and we got him back to town, I bid him farewell. And went back to my house for some well-deserved coffee. Relaxation. <sighs> Let's go and get some coffee. Alrighty guys, so that was definitely something different. Uh, all the truck rolling was definitely a different experience than I'm used to. And obviously having to repair the vehicle so much, uh, that was definitely different as well. But anyways guys, we'll bring it back here for the next day of the Mudrunner Saga. And uh, we'll see what we got going on then. See you then.